Peace and welcome back. Today I would like uh, to talk about uh, three things. Three things that um, had been on my mind recently. And uh, those things are black and white thinking. Should you judge people? Like, is, is it... Is it allowed? Is it good to judge people according to their deeds? And uh, radicalism. Radicalism in the Coronite movement. And uh, I like that term, movement. <laughs> so, let's start with uh, black and white thinking. I got some criticism for that from uh, different kinds of people saying that uh, the world is not black and white and uh, everything is like grey scales of grey and uh, they they allegedly they, they say that they believe in the Quran and um, that you are not permitted to judge people so uh, that you cannot be sure in which category someone uh, is falling and when you uh, read the Quran carefully, you will see a repeating pattern of God giving us an example. And this example is, he's giving us a lot of examples, comparing both categories of men either going to the, par to the garden or going to hell. And... Uh, God uses a lot of times the example of light and darkness. Uh, in in Al-Baqarah, in, uh, in this surah, it is mentioned. I, I think it's mentioned twice. And uh, it, is, it, is, it is obviously very clear, it's evidently clear that... Um, people are either in the light or they are not, so they are in the darkness. So uh, this black and white thinking fits to that truth. And um, people who say you, you're not allowed to, to do that or uh, they, they didn't understand the Quran, maybe they, they are not able to, but uh, they should uh, probably start taking this seriously. And uh, God gives us the, the means, he gives us the verses, he gives us the different situations uh, where we can distinguish that. We, we can distinguish someone who is in the light from someone who is in the darkness according to their deeds in regards to the Quran. And the Quran is also, has also been uh, revealed so that we can judge and we should judge. It is our job to judge evil. It is our job to criticize evil. And how do you criticize evil? It is to say that it's evil that it is evil and that the good way is the better way. So there is another black thinking, like we have to label things as evil and we don't have to comment on that, we don't have to discuss about that because we know what's, what is the truth, we know what, what will happen and this is how we should treat that. And uh, being like pacifistic in this regard and uh, just uh, watching and, and uh, sitting back and just let, th let things go is, it is not right. It is just not right. Our, one of our duties is to judge evil as it is. Uh, and
hand to to stand up for the good, to stand up for God. And it, it doesn't matter if people don't accept it. It's not about that. It's, it is not important that people don't accept it because we know that only the true believers will uh, will see that. And imagine we are in a society, we are heading towards a society, uh, where there's going to be a no good left and uh, we will be like in the Egyptian Empire or in the Roman Empire we're still living in the Roman Empire but now it's a worldwide I mean when it was in Rome still uh, it's still in Rome like the Vatican but <laughs> you know what I mean when we had uh, the Pantheon and the gods before the 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 Germans came and everything was mixed and they said, oh, uh, we have to stage the fall of the Roman Empire. But uh, the, the Pontifex Maximus is still there and we just call upon him Jesus Christ. And uh, yeah, <laughs> so, uh, oh no, it's not, it, it was not Apollo, it was uh, Sol Invictus, Sol Invictus. I would just call him Jesus Christ and... Yeah, let things go for over 2,000 years until now. But uh, I'm missing the point. We know also from uh, history, unrigged history, that uh, the pre-Islamic, the pre-Quranic era was very immoral. We know from the Quran that uh, they bury, buried their own uh, daughters because they were daughters and they uh, didn't like that. It was shameful to them, so they just killed them after birth. And I think the, the immorality scale, the scale of evil, is going to increase significantly. And it is going to increase exponentially. Because now we, can, we, can, we don't have to participate. We don't have to, to be active sodomites or active murderers or whatever but uh, there is going to be a time when we have to choose between that we have to choose between uh, yeah I don't know group sex on the streets or uh, going to war or uh, animal sacrifices because that's uh, coming too, like this paganistic movement is also in, in, a, in an uprise, uprising. Uh, that's also the reason why God says uh, it is forbidden to us to eat animals that are sacrificed for the gods uh, or on an altar. Because uh, this time will eventually come back. And... Um, yeah, so we have the means and we have uh, the duty to judge evil as it is, to judge between light and darkness, between truth and vanity, between black and white, between heaven and hell. Like this, I think it's called duality, uh, we have to stand for that. And uh, this is the right thing to do, and that uh, will, will, uh, yeah, give us, give us, will give, this will give, give us the attention, eventually, especially when we look at the technological uh, stage we are living. Everything spreads really quick, quickly, and uh, there's going to be a time where everybody on the world is connected through their phone and everybody is rated after their social social media status and uh, if you criticize somebody or something uh, like when you look at the LGBTQ thing you will get destroyed <laughs> but uh, it is different when you say well uh, it is from God God exists you will go to hell and uh, you are evil 
because it's so uh, it's like in their in their view it's the worst case scenario and uh, of course for us it's the best and um, this is what will uh, get us motivated um, so the second no no we, we have like two points I, I had the two points black and white thinking judging and the next thing is radicalism uh, should you be a radical what does it mean to be a radical radical or fundamentalist or whatever the attributes that are mostly associated with the traditionalists especially the Sunni Saudi Arabian Wahhabi uh, sector and it uh, it is in a negative connotation but um, it just means that you have to stick to what you believe and uh, to d don't wave around and uh, not deviate from that path and uh, I think if I'm be honest because I was in the Sunni Sunni Islam and I, I, I would consider myself I was very radical like uh, going onto the streets and giving away Quran and like so on and so forth <laughs> don't want to go into uh, detail, details here but um, I think as a, as a Quran alone Muslim as a real Muslim as somebody who believes in God you should be probably the most radical you should be the most fundamentalist fundamentalistic and this word is so hard <laughs> to pronounce but you should uh, give everything you have you should give your life you should give your wealth and uh, you should be uh, even more ambitious than uh, than everybody else and um, that th this is my view and this is also the Quranic view and uh, it will come to the point where there is going to be uh, no going back it is uh, when we are in battle and uh, we will eventually looking down the road we will get persecuted and uh, eventually they will even try to kill us and uh, we have to be prepared for that we have to be prepared for that so my advice is to make to make it uh, harder than it is make make your life harder than it than it is and uh, it is really simple just do fasting uh, do fasting walks do sports while fasting uh, try to to eat not for some days just eat nothing and uh, train your body your body is very uh, your body is is able to to sustain that and uh, it will train itself it will adapt uh, to those situations re really quickly and uh, for yeah or sleeping in the uh, outside try to make a fire maybe with uh, only a, a piece of iron and a fire fire stone so survival skills and just coming down to the, the essence of and the nature of being a human being and um, becoming more aware of your surroundings using your senses observing observing the people around you absor observing the town you're living in and seeing on what kind of stage 
what kind of level all these people are programmed already. Maybe look into the state news, state TV for the newest Matrix updates <laughs> and uh, just being aware. Being aware, awareness, really important and um, yeah, I think, I hope you learned something new. I hope you learned something useful. Uh, this is my opinion. And uh, if it's not your opinion or you don't like it, I don't really care. Uh, we will see us after death on the day of judgment. <laughs> uh, and uh, I will probably... Uh, I'll probably make uh, some more videos and um, until then, see you. Peace.